company this is y254 it's a wednesday where we talk about health and lifestyle and tonight we are looking at the story of compassion where 20 guys from nyeri decided to walk to mombasa to help one of their own and now we want to know because this is a story that has been trending on social media but now we want to get it from the horse's mouth i'm speaking to karidi wamboy how are you sir i'm fine karibu this is y254 thank you now uh Wangari has been sick, yeah. but we have seen the stories on social media, sure. and we want to understand what happened and uh, what moved you to decide to help her and why the work from, because those are so many kilometers, about 150 or something. True. So how did it come about? Uh, first, let me say uh, my name, I'm Karayi Wamboi, and uh, uh, the story about Wangari, uh, ourselves, the number of people we're working, we are 20 of us, 24 in number. 24, right. And uh, we started the walk from Nyeri, mm -hmm. and we are saying that we're walking to, from Nyeri to Mombasa to save Wangari. Mm -hmm. Wangari was a student at uh, Jomo Kenyatta, University of Agriculture and Technology, mm -hmm. uh, Mombasa campus. Okay. She got an accident back to 2017, that was November 2nd, right. when she was coming from class, her evening classes. Mm -hmm. And uh, when she got the accident, she went to Kozjan Hospital, where she was treated. Right. But unfortunately, the doctors... Uh, did put uh, the plaster mm. when she was having an open wood. Oh, okay. So it's unfortunate because that made Wangari to develop some complications mm. and it's the complications that led to, to the infection. Mm. And uh, since then, Wangari has never been treated. Right. Uh, since then, Wangari has never walked again. That is for two years. Mm. And uh, the parents have sacrificed their everything, mm. including selling some parcels of land mm. to ensure that the dream of their daughter comes to, to, to reality. And uh, now where we came in, Wangari, well, there was a time she was to travel to India right. for treatment, mm -hmm. having that the infection have affected the bone marrow. Right. She, uh, at that time, after moving from Coast General Hospital, mm -hmm. she came to Aga Khan in Nairobi, right. where she was uh, receiving treatment. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the Aga Khan, from at Aga Khan Hospital, they were unable to uh, really uh, treat her. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when uh, decisions were made that she should travel to India to seek a specialized treatment because even her bone itself had some uh, infection. Right. So when that fateful day when the, now the parents uh, tried to secure some money from the NHIF, right. uh, fortunately they got 500,000 from the NHIF and they had scheduled to airlift her to India. That was back March, this early this year. Right. By the time she was uh, board the airplane, the airplane attendants uh, did eject her from the airplane, saying that uh, she's unfit to fly. Right. Uh, very unfortunate because before that, they had already done, uh, the doctors from the airline had went and checked and they had confirmed that right. they can, uh, she can't fly with them. Mm -hmm. But that day, she was left stranded. She was humiliated. Her hopes of ever walking again were, were dashed. And when personally I learned of the story, I remember her because she was part of an organization we had of university students from nearly across the country, wherever, whichever university you, you are. you are. I was their chairman. Mm -hmm. We used to call ourselves Nyeri Elites. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when I got moved, I got touched, and I went to visit her. Right. And when I visited her, I visited her at her home, her sister's home at Kikuyu, yeah, still in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And that's when I found that she was really injured her left leg and she could barely move she can't even sit she can't she relies on all support mm -hmm. and uh i felt moved that time i was i was still, I was still a, a student it was uh, late april okay. early april this, this year. year yeah okay. i was at my university i was that was the time i was pre preparing myself to do my final exams right and when i went now i found her and uh, i would talk to her she would make me understand how she has suffered all the way through and she made me understand that her parents were unable to pay the hospital bill mm -hmm. since 2018 November. Okay. So she has been at home for almost seven months. And uh, that's when now I, I challenged my colleagues after now I was through with campus mm -hmm. and uh, we had to do a fundraising for her. Okay, allow me to cut you short. Sure. Now for l those two years, she was going for treatment to other hospitals including Aga Khan. Khan yeah. And the condition was getting serious by day. By day. What were the doctors telling her at that time? Uh, what, what the doctors were doing uh, fr from uh, the, the reports that th there was once when they can't try to uh, really get to understand what the, the real cause of the infection. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Uh, they made some some samples were sent to South Africa uh, to really test what's uh, really the problem because she had uh, undergone so many uh, surgeries, mm -hmm. uh, attack and maybe four surgeries, but nothing was coming forth. Mm -hmm. So she really had a lot of pain. And uh, you can imagine a university student, you know, a lady for that matter, right. she used to live in Pampas all the okay. way through for two years. Okay. You know, the yeah. touch itself, yeah. we felt it's worried. If we see ourselves, there's nothing we have done to True. be able to work. Like mm -hmm. myself, I was traveling all the way through from Nyeri to El Doret, all the way through, and I was always alive, I was, and God would give me that chance. True. But for her, it was unfortunate. She was coming from class, mm -hmm. and the accident happened. It was a hit and run vehicle. Mata reported that uh, caused you know, at uh, Mombasa traf Central Traffic Base mm -hmm. with a no B number also, 09, mm -hmm. of the same date, 2nd November 2017. Was the accomplice ever arrested? Uh, the accomplice was ar arrested, but uh, later, uh, released unconditionally. Mm -hmm. uh, since then, no case has been uh, pushed mm -hmm. because the police were saying that she need to go and, and record a statement, you know. Yeah, and okay. uh, that's unfortunate because she, she was bed uh, in bed, bedridden, yeah. bedridden, and she couldn't walk. Okay. And it was, it is sarcastic for the police to, to come and tell her, come and record, and indeed she can't walk. Yeah. Up to date, she didn't, she, she has never walked. Mm -hmm. So now that's where we came on, on board and said, okay, guys, we must help one of us. Mm -hmm. And okay, itself, it was a challenge. True, you know, try to convince even the rest of the colleagues, the rest of the comrades that indeed we can walk from Nyeri to Mombasa on foot. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would go to Google and check how many kilometers are they. Mm -hmm. And we'd see 600 plus kilometers and we're doing mathematics, how many days do we use? Mm -hmm. And how do we raise the money? Right. How do we do it? What do we use? You know? Yeah. And uh, we, found, we found it wise and we said, okay, Let's put differences aside, let's put the challenges aside, whatever comes on board, we must save this comrade. Right. And that's when we started the journey on that 13th mm -hmm. uh, June, 29th, that's last month. And uh, the start of it was nice. Right. And the first, you know, the first instance is we, we are brewing the pumpers. The first day you fired up for the... Yeah, we are really prepared, you know, you go to... All right. Just because, before you continue, what was the, the strategy? You move from town to town or home to home? or you were just walking by the road? Uh, majorly, the strategy that uh, we, we were thinking that we'd use is to first, my, my thinking was we would create awareness. Mm -hmm. And because we know Kenyans are people full of love and they would come on board and yeah. work with us. Mm -hmm. And our campaign, uh, the, the, she needed 2.5 million to go for, that, that's according to what we were projected. Yeah. And I would do uh, simple mathematics that if we are able to reach 25,000 people only, 25,000 people, Okay. the fact that Kenya we are 40 million okay. so I was targeting I was targeting 25,000 people mm -hmm. each individual give us a hundred bob mm -hmm. that would be able to raise 2.5 million mm -hmm. but uh, and uh, so we said okay guys you're, you're off and we started the journey mm -hmm. uh, somehow you know we were just estimating without really having the practical part of it okay there was no more exercise to understand the challenges or anything. Yeah. So the first day... Because people would have got tired anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thinking that uh, we would be able to go and raise money and walk very fast, that was never the uh, as mm -hmm. our thinking. Mm -hmm. And it took us time. All right. Uh, we, we were only... The first day we had estimated to walk from Nyeri town mm -hmm. to Sagana mm -hmm. town. Yeah. Or uh, rather Kifingoti. Mm -hmm. But we were not able to do that. We were only able to capture Nyeri town because now we were working with cartons. Right. And you know, you have to explain to an individual, okay, we, we are working for Wangari. Mm -hmm. The person asks what who is Wangari, what's you know, mm -hmm. yeah. and you have to explain the story before you move to the next person, that's ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So you'd find that to capture at least uh twenty people, it will take you an hour. True. And then out of the twenty, maybe just ten give you something. Exactly. So uh, an hour gives you a thousand, you see. Mm -hmm. So the challenges were there, but we kept moving. The first day we covered up to Karatina town, and uh, we slept at Karatina. Oh, whose uh, place did you sleep? Uh, when, we, we, when we put the story on social media, mm -hmm. we would find that people who are ahead are waiting for us. They know there are guys walking. Okay. So by the time we were getting to Karatina, there's uh, one uh, uh, woman. She's Mama Nyambura, as she introduced to us. Mm -hmm. And she's the one who hosted us that night. We slept at her place. Though somehow congested because mm -hmm. at that time we were many. We started the journey, I mean, uh, around 50 of us. Okay. Yeah. But as per now, we are only 24 strong. 
and others can actually, and, you know, challenges. Others have got other duties to go and mm -hmm. and uh, go for. So we we go up to Karatina. That the first day, we were able to raise fifty two thousand. Okay. That the first between, day between Nyeri and between Karatina, Nyeri and Karatina. 000, yeah. Oh, and, that's quite some. Yeah, and at that time, that is the money that we had in cash. Okay. So we also had the pay bill number that we now use to go ask people if you have something in your impressor, you can still go ahead and donate to us. Mm -hmm. So basically, we kept working. Day one, day two, we walked. Day three, we had uh, Makutano Junction, that's for going Embu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day five, we had uh, Keno, from Makutano to Keno. Mm -hmm. And that was on a Sunday, we went to a church that is uh, at Makoyo, that is. And uh, we went and fellowship with uh, Jesus Winner Ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, they gave us a check of 10,000. Really gave us a morale. That's we true. kept walking. Mm -hmm. Now thinking that we want to get to the town very fast because there are more people concentrated in one area. Yeah. And we would walk a small distance and have more money. And uh, we, we, at date 17, we are at Dika. So, so when we are at Dika and uh, Wagari, now, at that time as we were walking, mm -hmm. she was still at home. And she called me, it, it, that day was, uh, day 16, it was on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And she called me telling me, Karidi, uh, I'm afraid you guys might, might do things in vain. Uh, I can see as if my leg is, is going to, I'm going to have an amputation. Mm -hmm. Ask why, it, it, I'm in so much pain, unlike before. Mm -hmm. So I told her, uh, okay, let, let us see what we can do. Mm -hmm. So I immediately convened a meeting stopped walking, convened a meeting, uh, that is at the roadside. Mm -hmm. The other guys, you know, one guy is in pain, what do you do? So we had to brainstorm among ourselves, check how much we have raised. At that time, we had 812,000 mm -hmm. with us. 812,000. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so we, w what we did, we saw it's mm -hmm. fate that we have her airlifted. She goes start medication and save her from the pain as mm -hmm. we continue walking because there was no sense of us putting the money in the bank and she's at home suffering the pain. Mm -hmm. So we decided, okay, okay. let's have her mm -hmm. lifted. And so I called her sister, told her you rush the airport, mm -hmm. uh, have an agent book for you uh, a plane. Right. And uh, successfully, she was able to secure one, uh, Ethiopian airline, mm -hmm. and uh, had her flight scheduled immediately uh, two days after that, so on Wednesday, mm -hmm. 19th. And uh, we stopped walking that day, went, picked her from her home, took her to the airport, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Right. And uh, she flew out at exactly 19.05 hours mm -hmm. and went to India to start medication. At that time, we had also made, uh, communicated with the hospital in India right. that uh, she, they would start medication as we continue raising. Because right. it's different there. Before you get the treatment, you yeah. have to pay the, the cash. Yeah. Okay. So if, out, she can, she, if that's the, the process, mm -hmm. then we can have her with the little that we have. Mm -hmm. She goes to the medication. Anytime she has to go to hospital, mm -hmm. we'll have changas, uh, we'll have raised amount, and True. we deposit for her mm -hmm. medication. Now, at what point did you meet now the deputy president as we come to an end of our uh, discussion tonight? <coughs> uh, now, what happened, when we come, let, let me explain this a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. When we came to, to Nairobi now, we're in the capital city, past Dika. Mm -hmm. When our people are, are many and our mindset is that it's far from the villages and people are making money, it's, mm -hmm. it's I would say, it, it, you are really demoralized. Okay. Because you, you'd go approach a person riding, you know, mm -hmm. and the next thing he does, Kiyo uh, Ikoju. You see, you know. Oh, yeah, you're trying to speak to them and then they, 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 would, they close the window. They would close the window and okay. we are left. Mm -hmm. So we had to uh, retreat and do a strategy. Now we see how we do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when we, we propose ourselves, instead of going to the streets, mm -hmm. we change the model from just doing uh, raising funds to creating awareness, mm -hmm. uh, a road safety campaign. Mm -hmm. So we had those the banners, don't drink and drive, mm -hmm. stop over speeding, you know, mm -hmm. all, all these manners that like, would want to create awareness and mm -hmm. maybe attract the attention from the drivers. Like, the, why, why are these guys telling you not to drink and drive? Yeah. And uh, on the, that's when you're still walking, we are, the deputy president was going to Ebakasi. Mm -hmm. And when we learned of that, we, we walked almost the whole night from Kasarani mm -hmm. and down, down up to Mehango where he was, ha he was having his Sunday service. Mm -hmm. uh, we waited him there, there and had our banners up mm -hmm. telling him, deputy president, please come and rescue us because the bill was, the bill, uh, she needs to have medication running, sure. but we are not making money. Mm -hmm. So he saw the only way, let us appeal to the deputy president, we went. Fortunately, uh, 
it, it got his attention when we had the banners up and he would salute us from fine with okay we would pray and say god help help him mm. and uh, somehow he came to our rescue and uh, he, he invited us uh, yesterday we went to to see him at his office harabe and the mm -hmm. annex mm -hmm. and uh, he promised us uh, he gave our prom he fulfilled his promise of one, uh, one million shillings mm -hmm. which he deposited to the account that they are using in idiom mm -hmm. which are great for him but uh, unfortunately we also need to raise more money because when wangari went to idiom mm -hmm. we had estimated that we would need 2.5 million okay. but unfortunately the doctors found that the, the segment or the fragments where the accident had hit mm -hmm. where she was hit the bones they are already dead okay. so we had thought that they would do a bone grafting but now they need to do a bone implant mm -hmm. the whole of the hip bone need to be replaced okay. so that have really affected the budget from 2.5 million uh, it's going to a staggering amount of 3.8 to 4.2 million and mm -hmm. you know we wanted also to have secured her education that when she comes from uh, from the hospital mm -hmm. we'll be able also to fund her education and she continues she goes back to class and have her degree all right so very fast before i give you the chance to speak to the kenyans out there now what's the plan of the group because there are so many wangaris out here who would need such a help what what plans have you come up with like this group will it end with wangari or you're looking up to something because as a as a nation and the government has the plan of universal health care as one of the big four agendas uh what is your plan what have you thought of or you haven't uh, my, my plan, or, or what I would find a fit, I, I would want to pose a challenge because personally I'm out of the university, mm -hmm. uh, although I've not graduated. Mm -hmm. I would challenge the, the university student leaders, maybe all those who are every day demonstrating here in town, mm -hmm. to go down, sit down, and write uh, a memorandum or, or rather a policy uh, in guidance with the, the Minister of Health and the Minister of Education, mm -hmm. and maybe appeal that the government should really come on board as they are having insurance health insurance covers for the high school students mm -hmm. they should as well extend it to the university because there's no way you cover me today i graduate from high school mm -hmm. then i go to the university and and you leave me there you know you're investing in vain you need to invest in food to ensure that it th there is something positive coming on it all right i'll give you one minute to speak to kenyans out there there's your camera uh, you tell us about the pay bill number uh, the amount you're looking forward to getting and you could also remind kenyans who wangari is yeah. Good look at the camera here. Number four. Yes. I would, I would, uh, I'm appealing to Kenyans because I know Kenyans are people of uh, love. I know you guys, you really are people with good heart. We're appealing to you to come and support us. Ourselves have risked life. You see at me, you look at me here. Yeah? I got an accident as the, we are continuing our journey, but I've not given up. I've not, I've not lose hope. I would advise or I would request for an appeal or rather I would appeal you come on board, help us raise the money, help us help Wangari walk again. Tomorrow it's, today it's Wangari, tomorrow is another person. And it's always uh, good that we stand with one of us as Kenyans and also more so as uh, comrades, the students, parents who have students at the university. Please be with us, stand with us, help Wangari walk again. And by so doing, God will bless you and God will make this country a better place. And also maybe also advise the government to ensure that the universal health care program uh, really is effectful, to ensure that uh, the menace that really disturbs so many people, especially those who are not well up, the poor down there in the villages who are dying of uh, due to terminal diseases, the government should really invest in the health sector. And we are proud that its UHC's program is running in Nyeri, and uh, we really support it, and we would want it to be implemented in the whole country so that at least majority of the poor Kenyans can really have an, uh, an upper hand in terms of health services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, many thanks for coming and telling us the whole truth, how things were and where you have got. We're really hoping that Kenyans will react to this message positively. Once again, many thanks. What you're doing is so kind of you and we so much appreciate and hope Kenyans will once again uh, react to uh, this message. You have seen the placard with the pay bill number that you're supposed to send in your contributions. Remember, as Jesse has said, today is Wangari, tomorrow is someone else. We are a Kenyan who, Kenyan people who are willing and ready to help any given time. Sure. Many thanks for coming again, um, Karevi.
we'll be getting to hear from you again what happened and next and back home many thanks for keeping us company this has been y254 lifestyle and health wednesday my name is dereva hillary have yourself a good night